In Jamaica, politicians are being warned not to accept tainted monies to fund their election campaign. It's just one of the crucial rules outlined in the revised campaign finance bill now before Gordon House. Leslie and Sherwood tells us more. It's the political season in Jamaica. However, political candidates and parties are being warned to embrace ethical standards in their bid to win state power. The two main political parties, the ruling People's National Party, PNP, and the opposition Jamaica Labour Party, JLP, have been busy oiling their machinery, traversing the nooks and crannies of the island to shore up support. But as election campaigning rides into high gear, the Electoral Commission of Jamaica, ECJ, is reminding politicians that they must conduct their affairs to ensure transparency and accountability. Those guidelines to ensure probity on the campaign trail are outlined in the amendments to the representation of the People's Act 2015, which is now before Gordon House. The revised law speaks specifically to campaign financing, which has been a thorny debate over the years. Under the revised law, political candidates and registered political parties are prohibited from accepting monies to fund their campaigns from sources the ECJ has ruled as impermissible donors. Political candidates and parties are banned from accepting funds from public bodies or agencies, a foreign or commonwealth government, and any entity whose operations are deemed illegal under the law. Minister with Responsibility for Electoral Matters, Philip Powell, explains that a political official or party has 30 days to return monies considered improper. Any contribution accepted by the political parties or candidates and not returned within a prescribed time is deemed to be accepted. If the contribution is returned to the donor within 30 days, then it is deemed that the party or candidate did not accept the contribution. So anybody can send money to you. You have 30 days to return it. So what happens if a party receives funding from an anonymous donor? In a case where the contribution comes from an anonymous or unidentifiable donor, the contribution shall be transmitted to the Accountant General for payment into the consolidated fund. Similarly, each candidate who contests the election must declare to the Director of Elections within six weeks after the general polls that to the best of their knowledge, no illicit funding was accepted. The 2BG, Mr. Speaker, obligates the Director of Elections to no longer than 21 days after a declaration is made as required under BF to issue a certificate of compliance to the declarant. So every um, person now within 21 days will have to receive a certificate of compliance by the Director of Elections. Some parliamentarians have, however, disagreed with the limit proposed for the individual campaign spending. The law restricts candidates to spend no more than 10 million Jamaican dollars. Opposition leader Andrew Holness believes this figure isn't realistic. Mr. Powell says those concerns will be relayed to the ECJ. The, the opposition leader has already signaled that we might want to, to spend a little time looking at that amount because we don't want to insert a figure which is subject to severe penalties if it is unworkable and if it's going to lead to every member breaching. So we are prepared in the course of this debate to look at that figure to make sure that it is realistic. And of course, um, so as not to breach the tradition, we'll have to consult a little bit with the selected members of the commission. In the meantime, the legislation also proposes the establishment of an election fund which would enable individuals, companies and members of the Jamaican diaspora to make contributions to campaigns. Those funds would be made available after an election to help candidates with expenses incurred during the elections. Debate on the bill continues in the lower house next week. I'm Leslie Anshoud for Scene Caribbean News. Thanks, Leslie. In the meantime, Minister Paul Well is cautioning politicians that failure to follow the rules will result in sanctions. He says that citizens will be educated as well. These are very far-reaching provisions. And it is important that from day one, we mount a massive public education campaign to ensure that people are not unwittingly in breach of the provisions. Well, they need to know what the provisions are and to ensure that they do not um, breach them because the penalties are quite, quite severe. 
Mr. Powell says Jamaica's steps to improve its democracy have been hailed by the Organization of American States, OAS. He adds that Jamaica is also being used as a point of reference in the region. The Secretary General of the Organization of American States welcomed the tabling of this campaign finance bill in our parliament and expressed the hope that other countries in Latin America and the Caribbean will adopt similar legislation. So this is a, a, a significant observation from the OAS. Both the government and the opposition, we believe, are united in, pur in purpose to amend this act, which will result in reform in Jamaica's electoral campaign financing, bolster the transparency and accountability of elected officials, and reduce corruption and improper influence in public life. Indeed, Mr. Speaker, Jamaica has been cited as a reference in the Caribbean with respect to our work to strengthen our democracy. We are agreed that without campaign finance reform, there is a grave and ever-present danger that our cherished democracy can be captured and hijacked by unsavory characters.